This is the TVNews.TV, brought to you by American Ingenuity Media, simply the solution for innovative on-air promotion, video marketing, plus internet and social marketing. Visit them at AmericanIngenuityTV.com and on Facebook. Here now is Jeff Grimshaw. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw in Washington. Up first, the dog-eat-dog -dog world of TV programming just got a, a lot of... Um, uh, Dog eat dog ear, I guess. Courtesy of Internet TV. Here's John Leolin from Combridges.com to explain in our new media, new marketing report. Hi, Jeff, and welcome to a special nighttime edition of the New Media New Marketing Report. And today I want to talk about competition. You know, competition is nothing new in the TV industry. The networks have been competing against each other for a long, long time. But I'm here to say that the online streaming delivery of video programming and what used to be called TV but really is now just streaming media on the web is real competition. It's no longer just a second class citizen and uh, you know probably Netflix should have proved that with really their HBO style original production. You know the Kevin Spacey House of Cards series that was you know downloaded all at once in a new model is delivered by Netflix via streaming. No cable, no broadcasting, but full production values and real value added to the subscription and very much the way that HBO originals add to the value of that kind of subscription. But that, it doesn't stop there. That's really just the tip of the iceberg and kind of a breakthrough for the reality in terms of it being real TV quality production. Coming up right behind it, obviously, is YouTube. Pilots, people testing out creative ideas, the new development arena of uh, TV programming is now on the web with a slew of original programs being delivered exclusively via YouTube. And then there's the news. One of the areas that uh, you know, TechCrunch is talking about now is a site called Now This News, which is doing six second video competitions and in a sense reinventing the whole arena of uh, video journalism. Now Chad Hurley, the founder, one of the founders of YouTube, he's doing a new socially driven TV network. So, you know, my message to you broadcasters, to cable networks is really look out because the competition is taking on new forms. It's morphing constantly. It's creating, you know, completely new ways of programming and engaging audiences with real social interactivity. So game on. It ain't going to stop. NBC, hmm, they hit a new low in prime time, setting an all-time record for poorest audience delivery in Peacock Network history. That's an oh-so-paltry primetime average of 3.53 million viewers for the week of March 4th. And now Univision, who continues to beat NBC in prime time, well, they're rubbing salt into the wound with trade marketing like this, produced by industry marketing legend Managing partner of Vita FR company, Frank Radis. This February, Univision did something no Spanish language network has ever done. The number one network for Hispanic Americans now beats NBC. Univision is the one for novellas, the one for entertainment, the one for news, the one for sports. Number one with Hispanics and growing in America. One for you and the one for all. Univision. Yeah, well, the truth can be brutal. We will be standing by to see how NBC responds. Reliable. Sure, it's a great read, but you know what? It can be tough to plow through on a continuum. And so the same appears to be holding in viewership for history's The Bible, which in its second installment did not hold viewership, losing in fact 20% of its audience. History is praying that the huge premiere numbers will be resurrected for the third episode and beyond. And while they're praying, they should remember their other major mini, Vikings, which surrendered nearly 30% of its premiere audience with its second installment. Hey, uh, did you catch the winner of our very first Mimi Award? And that celebrates excellence and irreverence in memes across social media. <laughs> it's a good one. As of right now, we will be taking your nominations for the March Mimis. 
just post your favorite memes on the TV News Facebook page and write for your meme consideration. We'll let you know when the voting for March's nominees commences. If you want to get your message in living video to the TV industry decision makers, become a sponsor of the TVnews.tv. To get started, email us at advertise at the TVnews.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. What if you could combine the impact of traditional TV on-air promotion with the relationship-building power of social media? Now you can with Soma Promotion, only from American Ingenuity Media. To get your Soma email, tgrim at americaningenuitytv.com.